Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see lap joints and welded joints subjected to bending stresses permissible according to ASME section 8, division 1, subsection B, UW9. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now, let us start. So, what, let us see the structure of UW9, how it is structured, and then we'll talk about each clause in detail. So, UW9A talks about what are the permissible types of welds. Okay. UW9B talks about welding grooves. 9C talks about tapered transition. 9D talks about welded intersection, staggering of weld. 9E talks about lap joints. F talks about the closing plate, you know, flathead welded with a shell. Tube sheet welded, welded with a shell. How to make that joint? Okay. Great. Now about lap joints. Anybody has seen lap joint in pressure vessel? Pressure vessel descend or shell welded with lap joints? Akash is saying yes. Nikhil is also saying yes. What? And Santosh is saying no. Himanshu is saying no. So, if you have said yes, Akash, if, do you remember what was the pressure of that equipment? Akash and Nikhil, if you can, if you remember, it is possible, it is permitted, we can have lap joints. But it is applicable only for generally we use for very low, low pressures. Otherwise, we have we always go for now. We'll talk about the limitation when we talk about UW12. Now, this lap joint it is permitted for whether long seam I can have this joint for sir seams, whether I can have this joint for which thickness I can have, everything will see, you know. So Nikhil is saying 15. And full vacuum kg per centimeter square. We'll, we'll see that when we see the next chapter. There are limitations on these lab joints, okay, given by code, okay, which we have to follow. So, if we are having, let us say, if you are having lab joint, what is the limitation? We'll see. But if we are having, then the overlap should be at least four times T. And T, this T is the inner plate. So, inner plate thickness multiplied with four that is the minimum length of overlap which we need to have okay and this has to be a double fillet well joint i cannot have only single fillet at one side i need to have a double fillet belt joint okay great now very interesting about bending stresses the joints where bending stresses will be coming so, I said uh, when we have shell connected to a flathead, it may be even tube sheet connected with a shell. Can I have a weld like this? If I have, let us say, flat head, I'm connecting it with a shell and the joint I've given like this. Okay, you have got a drawing from vendor where this kind of joint has been shown. Is it acceptable? Himanshu is saying not acceptable. What about others? Whether this joint between shell and flathead is acceptable? Nikhil is saying yes. Okay. Amul is also saying yes. Amar is saying not accepted. If you are saying not accepted, do you remember why it is not accepted or what, what comment you will be giving? So, Kizul is saying yes with backing strip. So that is what comment Kizul will give that it should be with backing strip. But can I have a backing strip for this kind of joint? We cannot provide backing strip for this kind of joint. Okay. For backing strip, I need to have a joint like, you know, if this is the joint, I need flat surface, you know, to have a backing, backing strip. I cannot have backing strip for this joint. So if it is not acceptable, what comment you will give? 
tube sheet must have a step as shown in so i'm talk i'm not talking about a tube sheet himanshu i'm just talking about flat head okay that is the reason i told about flat head see in tube sheet will have some leap we may have may not have okay but if let us keep it really simple if i have this kind of weld akash singh uh, he will comment like make a full penetration weld anyone else what comment you will give to close this for pressure vessel will need full penetration okay so full penetration is not a re requirement for each service the so service which you saw was for lethal or wilder or any other places you will not see that pressure vessels should have full penetration for all kind of services that is not the requirement right we discussed in the previous chapter that when for which services there are some uh, some limitations and restrictions okay so now coming to what comment you will be giving whether you will be you will accept it if not then what comment this is the second type okay now second type can i have in second type what we are doing we are just creating a little step and then welding everybody is saying yes now let us see as per code both of these joints are not acceptable. Both of these are not permitted. You have to give comment. What comment you will be giving? To maintain a fillet weld. Okay, that exactly what code says that you have to weld it like this. Where, see, in first case, there is no B. So A should be greater than two times of the thickness of the shell including your groove plus plus fillet you have to maintain two times the thickness of the shell that should be your exact comment if this is the weld given second type also code is saying that you have to have a fillet weld whenever you have a corner joint like this where the bending phenomena is very high because end plate there will be lots of bending stresses so you need to have a fillet opposite to that groove then it will become acceptable okay so here you have a b b is nothing but the depth which you have created here so a plus b if that is also increasing more than two times thickness then it is acceptable okay and tw should be greater or equal to ts whatever tw we are maintaining should be I need to have full, you know, I need to have, I need to weld at full thickness. Okay. So that is what is the requirement as per code. Please remember that whenever you see the corner joints where we have bending stresses. Okay. Now there are some more corner joints. You might see joints like this also given by the vendor these are non-permissible types of corner joint it is not permitted okay straight away it is rejected you cannot have this kind of corner joints with only fillet okay making sense so we discussed lots of you know interesting points from clauses okay a uw clause so bending wherever you have bending stresses we discussed what type of corner joints we should have and this is the takeaway for you please remember this i hope you understood this part stay tuned for more videos related to welding requirements